Welcome, and for them is a Nokia 8.3, and today I will show you how to transfer files from your device to an SD card and vice versa. And to get started, we will need to open up the Files app, which is right over here for me. So let's tap on it. And at the bottom, you should see both of your storages, so internal and the SD card. I'm gonna start with the internal. And as you can see, there's a bunch of folders here, but there's only three that are actually important. So number one is the DCIM folder, which will contain pictures, videos captured with the device. Then if I leave here, Oh, there we go, there's no gestures. So if I leave, uh, we'll also see this folder, downloads. And on here you will find basically anything that you have downloaded uh, on this device using either your web browser or email, whatever that is, it gets saved into the downloads folder. And lastly, the pictures folder, which will contain screenshots as you can see right over here. So um, as you can see, there's a bunch of other folders, but those will be primarily empty, assuming you haven't downloaded some kind of app that will save directly to it. Now, once you find your files, which for me, they are, I believe, right here, not here, not here, apparently not anywhere. You see, maybe it's on the SD card. Yep, there we go. So my photos are already on the SD card. Um, so it looks like the device automatically starts saving to it even once you insert the card. But once you find your files, what you want to do is basically select them and you do so by holding it. As you can see, it will bring up these little circles with check mark and then empty one. So we can tap on additional uh, files just to select more of them. If you have a lot of photos or whatever it is that you want to move, you can also just tap on the three dots, go to uh, select all or not like that. Let me try that again, there we go. Um, select all, which will select every file in the, for me, in the camera folder. Or you can also go like this by selecting the entire folder itself. And that will also include everything that is inside of it. Now, whichever way you go, with it is completely up to you. There's not much of a difference, uh, just maybe some kind of organization. But other than that, uh, once you select folder or files, they will get moved or copied the same way. So once it's selected, let's tap on the three dots again and choose one of the two options, move or copy to. And if you choose to copy, uh, the phone will create duplicates of the file. So one will stay where it is right now and the orig original ones, while the new ones will be moved to your desired location. Uh, and if you go with the move option, it will completely remove it from where it is right now and move it to that uh, your location of your desire. And I'm gonna go with move for this. Now, once you tap on one of those options, it will bring up uh, this window right here. And from here, you can select where you wanna move it. So either internal storage, which is the storage of the device, or the SD card. The choice is completely up to you. Now, I'm gonna go with the internal storage just to change up the location completely. And from here, I can drop it wherever I want, either in the main directory, or I could keep it a little bit organized, go to the DCIM folder and drop it in there. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So once you find the location where you wanna drop it, tap on move here or copy here, and press continue, allow, allow, and it will now move it. As you can see, we're now on the SD card, DCIM, and the camera folder is completely gone from here. That's because I moved it. And if we go back to internal storage, we can now find the camera folder right over here with three photos inside of it. And that is basically how you move or copy any kind of file. And if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.